guys, so it's me, Shelby, from Cookie Moon. I have this like this for a certain reason. If you hear noise, maybe my brother's up. Hopefully, it's 11.13 and he's still not up. But, um, this is, um, how I edit my photos on Instagram, as you know. I'll be showing you guys how to do it. Um, but, these are the apps you will need. Okay, up, up. So, you will need... PixArt Infanto, as you can see in my bio. So I'm going to go to PixArt, and I need something to take a photo of. So, you know, I'm going to take a photo of my origami bracelet, but five seconds here, so I can get my white background. My white background is a piece of felt. Okay. So, what you do is I'm just going to put the white piece of white felt down. It's getting hot in here. Jeez. Oh, I'm supposed to be shutting windows probably too. Um, you're going to go, to, when you open it, you're going to hit capture. And when you take your photo, um, I'm going to try to do this. It's going to be a little hard because of a couple of reasons. Because my iPad doesn't stand too well. But you're going to take this. You're going to take it and you're going to take the photo at an angle like this. So I'm just going to move the camera away for the iPad so I can just take the photo because I have a difficult time to Okay, so I got it. I'm sorry that took over. So that's my origami bracelet, so it looks just like that. It's not the best of quality, but I'm still going to upload it. Then you're going to hit the check mark, and then you're going to have to flip your iPod this way. And then I go to scroll over, hit border, then I do outer border, 40, inner border, as you can see, so it's 40, 0, 255. Then I go here to the where the black is, and I go white. Then I click the check mark. Then I click the check mark up at the top. And there you go. Now this is when Fonto comes into play and you have to watch carefully. You go to this little square button with an arrow. It'll say export. And if you want, you can edit it all in here with your text. But I used to, but I don't anymore. So then you go down to other. And you scroll over until you find Fonto. And if you don't have Fonto, it won't pop up. Okay, so it's open in Fonto. So now I'm going to go tap on it. I'm going to hit add text. And I'm going to say origami. Origami bracelet. So um, the font that I'm using is coming soon. Then I hit done. But it's a little faded because that's how it's supposed to be on mine. But, sorry, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so you can click on this, then you hit style, and then you hit create color pattern. And um, I'm not going to create one because I already have one, but once you have one done, you go to these three little lines. Then you go, you can have, there's some made already. I go to my patterns, and um, this is my pattern. Red, orange, yellow, green, and uh, sky blue. So then I click on that, and then up here it says horizontal. See, I hit horizontal just like that, and then I'm done. And then that's how it looks right now, and then I go here. And I have Cookie Loomer already added, so I hit Cookie Loomer. And then I go to Style. And then this thing down below, this last one, is the opacity of it. So I just have it black and hit Done. And then I put it down below or close to the bracelet. You guys know. So then I hit, then when I'm done, I go to the square with the arrow. Then I go to Instagram. And then basically you should know how to upload from here. Then I just hit done, making sure that none of my words are cut off. Open an Instagram. And thank you guys so much for 2.3K anyway. Um, then I'll just write 
origami bracelet. I normally write it, but um, I just didn't feel like it today. So there's my one post for the day. Then I just like it because... Am I supposed to take this down? Did everybody else? Yes, I'm supposed to take this down. Okay, so um, I will give you guys a shot. So that's my that's how you do it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.